Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome back to the second half of my mega plant haul. So I do have quite a few exciting plants in this haul as well. It is slightly different to the last haul. Last haul, if you haven't seen it already, please feel free to take a look. I did some shinglers and I did a lot of big heart uh, philodendron in there. So if you haven't seen that and you really wanna see that, feel free to go and take a look. Not only that, but I did feature two up and coming plants this kind of year, this season. So if you're interested, go and take a look at that. But today I have more plants for you. I have a couple of variegated plants. I have a large plant. I have a new hybrid right here. And I have a pretty rare plant. And I also have a dupe for the pretty rare plant as well. So we've got quite a lot to get through. So I'm not going to keep you any longer. I'm just going to get started because it's what we're here for. So the first plant I may as well talk about because he is right here. I don't fully know what this is. Okay, I'll start by saying it's in water because it was a bit limp after shipping. So I'm just recuperating it in the same way I did with my last video with my melanochrysum, which you can kind of see if I just move that out the way there. That's in water too. This is in water for exactly the same reason. So this is definitely a hybrid of Clarinervium and something. I don't fully know what it is. It was sold to me as simply a hybrid of Clarinervium, but I had to get it because of this amazing leaf shape. And if I just pick it up, just so you can see the roots, because why not? I wouldn't normally show off the roots, but you know, there they are in the jar. So there's plenty of roots. They were just a little bit dried up. Here he is. Look at him. So he is different from a Clarinervium in the way that he's longer and pointier. He has ripples on the sides and he has pointier ears than a Clarinervium. The veining is very much the same. It's a little bit more muted, but generally it's, it's quite similar. It's quite reminiscent of as I say, I don't know the plant that it's been, you know, bred with. I'm not sure. If you do know, please do list it below because I would love to know what it is. Um, I'd love to get some more, actually, if you guys are interested in having these. If I can track them down, I would love to get some for the shop because they're absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful. This one did have a little tear here and here um, through shipping, but it is what it is. Got a little bit of crisping here. I think generally, though, it's fine. Obviously, I haven't cleaned it off yet. My bad, I'm sorry. I know that's a bit of a faux pas. But yeah, very, very beautiful. It's definitely got more sturdy now. Yesterday when I picked it up, this leaf here just kind of flopped. So now it's in water, it's completely recovered. I do kind of recommend that if you have plants in shipping and they just, they look really floppy and just not good, don't pot it up. If it's coming moss or whatever, just take it out and put it in water. Honestly, that typically tends to be your best bet in terms of recuperating things. Just keep an eye on the water. If you're interested in a video actually on kind of like what to do with plants or cuttings when you get them in the mail, uh, both good and bad, let me know. I might think about doing a video on that because I do think it's quite helpful because we all buy plants, right? And we don't always apply them in shops. If you're looking for plants that are on the rarer side, you're not going to get them from a shop. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, let me know. I'll probably do something on it at some point soon. I've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline, but I will certainly put some time together and do that. But yes, I'm going to put him back here. So I don't know what he is. I don't know what we should call him, to be honest. He is a hybrid. I'm sure I saw something on the internet kicking about, about, was it Anthurium clarinervium and pterodactyl or something? I don't know. But if you know what it is, please let me know. Right, let's move on. Ooh, should we do the big one yet? Let's do... Let's do a variegated plant that is a little bit droopy right now. I've just watered it, but I didn't realize it was drooping because I've just come back yesterday from the shop and I put a load of plants in my office. So it's a little bit droopy. I've watered it. It should perk up, but I'll pick up this little plant to show you guys. Again, still in the same bullshit packaging as we had in the last video, so I'm sorry. It's just in one of my shop pots with a little bit of uh, plastic around it. But this here is a little droopy. Don't get me wrong, it is. I might need some help with this one as well, guys, because this here is a variegated spathophyllum. So it's basically a variegated peace lily, and honestly, it's absolutely stunning. Again, it needs cleaned off. It's pretty terrible that I haven't cleaned them off. I feel like a bad parent, but here you go. That's one leaf. Now uh, we have some variegation there and there as well. It's a beautiful little thing. Since I've watered it, it has actually, um, you know, pricked up a little bit. It's plumped up. It's starting to, I think. I think it's it's on its... You know, it's on the mend, should we say. Hopefully I haven't damaged it. The new leaf coming through, I think I can see some variegation on it. I'm trying not to peek. It does have some crisping off shipping as well. Can you even see that? Maybe you cannot, I don't know. There may be a little bit of crisping off shipping, but generally it's, it's good. If I just hold this together, you can kind of see what it would look like. And that's that there. Beautiful variegated spathophyllum. Now then, if I could have your help for one second, 
because I know that there are a few different types of variegated spathofilm out there. I think I've seen, I've seen Domino, Picasso, possibly Sensation, I can't remember, but I don't know what type of variegated, <laughs> I don't know what type a variegated piece of leather says, I'm not actually sure. My guess was domino, but honestly, I'm guessing. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. So if you have a trained eye or you're into your spathofilm and you know which one it is, I'll show it to you there. Please let me know in the comments below because I would very much like to know what this is. I would love to find a larger one of these. They are kind of coming onto the market. I could only get this one. This is the only one I could find. I would love a big one though. Um, but yeah, I suppose then again, to be fair, I don't really have the room, so. Maybe it's a good thing that I'm a small one. I don't know. I really, really hope it stops drooping in the next few hours because if it keeps drooping, I'm going to get very, very sensitive about this plant. So pray for it. <laughs> but yeah, this is my variegated spathophyllum. Very beautiful. Ooh, I'll not do the other variegated one yet because it's, oh, it's good. Trust me, it's good. You're going to love it. So I'll pick up a different one. Let's do, let's do the big one. I used to have one of these plants a long time ago. I think it died. I feel like it got root rot. When I moved, I think I launched the shop and I moved flats all in one weekend. If you guys remember last year, there was a period of time where I was starting up the shop <laughs> that was launching. So the same day that the shop launched was the same day I had to vacate my flat. So I had to do admin on the shop the entire time and still move flats. So it was a nightmare. And I think something happened in the crossover when I moved flats. And I don't know if I've just watered it twice and just not remembered, because that's very atypical of me to do that. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it died of root rot. Can't remember. So I got another one. But with the same situation as with the melanocrysum, I kind of wanted the big one. I thought, you know what, fuck this. And they're screwing around. I just want a big plant. Like, fuck you. I want a big plant. So I got one. This you have seen on my channel before. It's nothing new, but it is awesome, let me tell you. And that is this wonderful, very, very large Philatai. Philodendron Philatai, if you don't know what this plant is. I will do a head test because honestly, it's required. Here, look. I can't even get it in the damn frame if I move back with it. There you go. That kind of works, right? So if I move back even further and just hold it back, you can kind of see what's going on with this plant. I have put it in a pot. I potted it up for now. Uh, I've staked it to tie it together because it actually has a few leaves if I just twirl it around here. Obviously, I've kind of, I could have done this yesterday. I could have potted this up, but because I'm going to be doing some more repot videos, it, it, there was no point in potting it up and putting it on a pole or whatever it is I'm going to do. So for now, she is sat like this. She will stay like this until I get around to doing stuff with her. You know what I mean? So I'll see if I can put her here, but I don't think she's going to look, no. There's no point. There's no point putting that there. We'll put her down. But yes, this is my gorgeous philodendron bulletin. I'll show you, actually, I can show you a close up. How rude of me. There's not a lot of point because it's so large you can't do a close up. But if you don't know what's cool about philodendron bulletin other than the long leaves, it's the orange stems. Uh, can you see the orange stems there? There. Absolutely stunning. You know what? I'm going to do my like main amazing variegated plant at the end. I'm going to make that my last plant actually, because honestly it is the best. It's arguably one of the best out of this entire hole. And that goes for both parts. So I'll pick a different one. All right, I'll do the rare plant and then I'll do the dupe for the rare plant because it's super interesting actually. I'm probably going to do a video on this. So if you want it, given that, you know, last week I did my plant dupes and it went down really well. If you'd like me to do a dupe video on this plant, let me know. Although, to be honest, I think this dupe that I'm going to show you is the most dupey. I don't know. Never mind. I'm just going to pick up a plant. So this plant I already own. I actually mainly wanted to show you this plant to show you the dupe, if that makes sense, because I am going to sell this plant. I'm not keeping this plant. So it's a hole, but this plant isn't part of the hole. But I felt it necessary to show you because it's just cool. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I do own this plant. You guys haven't seen it physically on this channel. I know a couple of people might have seen pictures of it on Instagram. It will be coming back. It's just, I'm waiting for it to grow out a little bit because it's quite big. But I bought last year at the International Arid Show, I bought a Philodendron UPI and they are very hard to get. They cost a few hundred dollars. Um, not the easiest things to get. I have one here and I also have a dupe for it. So I'll quickly show you the UPI. Again, I'm not keeping this one. I'm actually selling this uh, on my shop. Well, by the time you see it tonight. So this is technically for sale tonight. This is the beautiful philodendron UPI. It's very, very cute. It's got a new little leaf growing down here. 
like such, if I can show that. So cute. So the leaves are very, very unique looking, very unique looking. And honestly, this plant isn't for everybody. Obviously it's not, you know? In the same way that Aspiritus isn't necessarily for everybody, although I do feel that Aspiritus Sancti is a lot more fashionable, would you say, than this one. So I do accept that. It's not for everyone. This is kind of more of your collector's plant. I'm not saying it's ugly, because <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's ugly. I just think it's very, very unique. But I'm aware that people watching this, not everyone's gonna love this. But if you like this and you don't necessarily wanna pay the price tag, because price tags on these are a little bit on the hefty side, not oblique levels, but you know, they're up there. Um, I do have a dupe for you. So I will put that there, although I don't know how well you're going to see that. There is no real way to show that. A lot of you may already know what the dupe is. You may have seen it before. You may just know that this is a, a kind of dupe for this plant. Again, a dupe, I, I said this in my video on Friday, it's not, it doesn't mean that the plant looks identical. It just means the plant has a lot of hallmarks and looks visually kind of similar. That's what I mean by a dupe in this sense. So this here is plant I have to show you. And this here, if I can just tip it up gently, is the Philodendron 69686. Yes, that is its name, 69686. If I show you the UPI next to it, you'll see it's actually really close. It's not far off. Obviously, there is some difference there. Let me show both leaves. That's super hard to do, isn't it, really? Because I don't want to actually tip soil everywhere. Right, we'll get that one there and that one there. See if you can see where the differences are. Obviously, the difference is here. The, the area of leaf around the midrib, there's virtually none, has tiny little ears, and it's got this big kind of bulbous tip on the leaf, whereas this one is a little bit more smooth in form. It's got it's got more leaf to it, really. Both very, very nice plants. This one will not set you back much money at all. The other one will. So if you're wanting a plant just literally for the shape, then go for this one. If you're like serious about your like collecting game or whatever you want to call it, go for the UPI because the UPI is on a lot of people's wish lists. But as I say, if you're not even sure, even if you're not sure, you can look for this plan or there might be some other similar ones. Again, if you want me to look into it, that's totally fine. Let me know in the comments. So this is the Philodendron 69686 and this is the Philodendron UPI. This is my plant, this is not, this is getting sold. But I do own a UPI and you will see it at some point. It's actually huge, like it's way bigger than this one. Wait till you see. I'll try and find a photograph at some point or I'll put it on video on Instagram and you can see it because it's pretty big. So I put these down because I think we just have two plants left, I think. I will get the other variegated plant that I have. So I don't think I've mentioned this plant in a wish list. I don't know why it should have been on there, but I feel like I've mentioned this plant quite a bit recently and I can't remember what videos I've mentioned it in or why I've mentioned it, but I have mentioned that I wanted one of these and I have one right here. This beautiful little thing is my variegated ZZ plant. Now then, I used to own a ZZ plant, I think just as I started YouTubing. So this is what, like a year and a bit ago. And I, as soon as I found out about the variegated one, I was like, right, yes, awesome. So I have this one. Now then, full disclosure, this snapped on me this plant, okay? I've actually, this, this, the good bit as well snapped. So this variegated bit here. So what I've done is I've stuck it back into the soil and I've made sure the soil covers some of the leaves. Um, you can't really see, there's not a lot of point in necessarily showing you. I'll show you the plant up close anyway while I talk about it. Um, I don't know what to do about that. I, I don't know if this is just gonna totally die off and I've actually just lost my variegated ZZ. I'm prepared for that because I, I accept that that's what may happen. I don't know. If anybody knows what to do, let me know. I think you can propagate these via leaf. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to cut it up. But if I have to, let me know in the comments below and I will do. Obviously, by the time you guys see this, this will be like four days after I've actually filmed this. So maybe it's deteriorated, I don't know. Maybe it's fine like this. Maybe it will root the way it is, as long as I don't water it too much. Let me know in the comments below if you have one of these or if this has happened to you, because I, I imagine this probably has happened to someone before. I think it just snapped in shipping. I'm not really sure. So I've stuffed it in with the hopes that it will grow. Let me know, because <laughs> I don't know. I'm not an expert on ZZs. But all of that aside, even if this plant does die, can we all just appreciate how beautiful it actually is? Really, really nice. There is variegation on the other leaves. It's just not as much. If you can see that there is variegation on the other, you know, the other strands, the other fronds, whatever you want to call them, but it's not as much as this. This is absolutely wonderful. In the event that this does die, I'll just have to search for another one. 
what can you do? Which is a shame because I've just got it and I've wanted it for ages and it might die on me. But let me know in the comments what I should do about that, whether I should just leave it like this, whether I should chop it up, which I really don't want to do. If I should put it in water, I can do that as well. Let me know what's best and what gives this plant the most chance of survival. Right, I think that means we have one plant to go. And this plant, where did, where did I hear about this plant? Let me think. What video was this? What video was this that I heard about this plant? Was it Peperomia Rare Plant Index? It was on one of my videos, basically, and somebody actually commented that they had this plant, a variegated version of this plant. I managed to find the seller through um, Instagram and Facebook, actually. I found it while I was on a sunbed in uh, Thailand when I was sunbathing. So I found this plant, I saw it, and the seller was, you know, carrying out an auction for this plant, so there was bids on it, but it was kind of like private bid. So I kept in contact, I entered the auction, and well, obviously I won it, didn't I? <laughs> so without further ado, I would love to show you, and I'm very excited about this on my channel, because honestly, it's stunning. Just wait, it's stunning. I would love to show you my variegated alocasia dragon scale. Yeah, really. Honestly, yeah, really. Just wait. Seriously. 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 Look at this. Like, wow. Just wow. Look at that. So to kind of give you a little mini tour of this plant, you have this leaf here, which is obviously, ugh, it's so good. <laughs> then we have this one here that's got a little bit more speckling. And after that, I think this leaf here has none, this leaf. And the other two have like little flecks of variegation, but it's not very noticeable. I can try and hold it up to the camera to show you what I mean. Yeah, fleck on the tip there. And where's the other little one? That little leaf there does have a little bit on. Not tons, a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is the latest leaf by the looks of how it's growing. But how freaking amazing is this plant? I really hope I can take care of this because I, I find dragon scale actually a little bit difficult. I've got one in there and it's, it's not looking its best, but how beautiful. Seriously, I mean, come on. What needs to be said other than wow, wow. Before anybody drops a comment about this, I am aware that there is a variegated alocasia silver dragon on Etsy, or at least there was. I haven't looked in a while, but there was at one point. So I do know about that. The seller is asking a crazy price that it, honestly, the, the plan just isn't worth that. So I won't be paying that price just in case anybody's curious. I would not pay that price. If the seller does want to sell it to me, get in touch and we will discuss it. But I would love to add that to my collection, but it's, it's too much. But I guess what I'm trying to say is you needn't tell me that it exists because I know I've seen it. It's beautiful, but I ain't paying that much. That's, I could get a Spiritus for that price. You know what I'm saying? That's not gonna happen. And I think that concludes my kind of double plant haul. There, there is a shit ton of plants here. I know you're seeing these a few days apart, but there is a shit ton of plants here. They're all around my feet. Some really, really cool ones. Some are like up and coming this year that I, I've seen, you know, all over Thailand. I've seen them in the nurseries, they're coming. Some I just wanted to replace, you know, bigger versions of things. Some are variegated things I didn't know existed that I had to have. Like I'm really, really happy. And since I haven't hauled plants for a while, I'm, I feel really satisfied with the new ones that I've got in. Like I feel like it was worth the wait. And I'm getting better at waiting. And I think that's because Obviously, I run a shop. I see loads of things every day. I have loads of different plants in my shop right now that I don't own. And for some reason, I'm able to restrain myself. I have no idea why. And it takes me a lot to see a plant and want to own it because really, I get the joy out of owning and looking after these plants anyway. I know they're going to be sold on to, you know, customers and things like that but I still get the joy of looking after them and learning about them. So I guess that kind of quenches my thirst most of the time. But when, you know, when you see shit like this, you can't not. You know what I mean? Thank you very much for watching this rare plant haul today. I think next week, if I've got this right, I believe you may have a repot with me earlier in the week because it's probably repotting half of these things. You may have a Thailand nursery tour. I may put that out instead. And you should, you should, next week, next Friday, you should have the tissue culture video that I've been working on for a little while now. So if you ever wanted to know anything about tissue culture and even be shown how it is done, then stick around for that next Friday. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I will try and update you guys on all of these on Instagram. So I hope you like them because we're kind of stuck with them for a few videos yet. 
and I will see you, well, next week. Have a great weekend, guys. Please stay at home and stay safe. Bye.